Hi, this video introduces the concept of graphs. We're going to be working with graphs, graph data structures, and graph algorithms for a while. First, we're just going to introduce the basic idea. So a graph is sketched on the right. It looks like this. And what's going on in a graph is there are vertices, which are these circles. Those represent some kind of thing, some concept that we're modeling. And edges, which are the arrow connections between the vertices. Each edge represents a relationship between the two things. So this is a foundational data structure, and there are a whole lot of applications for this. Basically, anytime we have things and relationships between two things, we can model that in software as a graph. Here's how we sketch a graph. Each vertex is drawn as a circle, and there's a strong convention that we number the vertices the same way that we number array indices, so starting from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in this example. By the way, note the language. This is kind of an unusual English word with the pluralization. The singular is vertex, ending in an X, and the plural is vertices, ending in CES. It's not vertexes. So each vertex is drawn as a circle, possibly with an index or label inside the circle, and every edge is drawn as an arrow between two vertices with a clearly defined starting and ending point. So what we use edges for are to model basically some kind of network. So in a network where you have things connected to other things, a vertex corresponds to a junction, a place where multiple connections come together, and an edge corresponds to a link between two junctions. So I'm going to go through a couple examples of networks we could model as graphs. One example would be the road network. So this is the network of streets and intersections. So every intersection in the road network would correspond to a vertex in a graph. So if we wanted to create a graph data structure that models this stretch of road here, this is an intersection on the border of CSUF's campus. This is Commonwealth Avenue going north-south and Nutwood Avenue going east-west. So the intersection in the middle here would be modeled as a vertex because that's where multiple roads meet. And each segment of road coming in or out of that intersection would correspond to one of these edges. So for example, this rightward facing edge coming out of the vertex corresponds to eastbound traffic on Nutwood. The left facing edge corresponds to westbound traffic on Nutwood. And the upward facing edge corresponds to northbound traffic on Commonwealth Avenue. Another example would be a social network. Here, the junctions are people. So every one of these vertices would model one person or one person's account on the social network platform. And an edge represents a relationship between two people. So on a platform like Facebook, you have friendship relationships. So we could create an edge between every pair of people that are in a friendship relationship. Or Twitter has follow relationships. So we could create an edge between two vertices when one Twitter user follows the other. And this, you know, probably is how Twitter keeps a database of its users, because it has those statistics, 30 following, 19 million followers, things like that. They probably have something like one of these graphs and use a graph data structure to report those statistics. Finally, another example is a neural network. A neural network is a technique used in machine learning to implement artificial intelligence. And the way that it works is a simulation of something like a brain or set of nerve cells. So every vertex corresponds to one of these nerve cells, and every edge corresponds to a connection between two nerve cells, which is called a dendrite. So the way that these neural networks work is input data comes in on a left column of input vertices, which are mimicking cells like the sensory organs, like your eyes. And then that goes, that information propagates through these dendrite edges into a, at least one hidden layer and then an output layer, which represents the output of whatever the machine learning system is doing.